2021, what a year. Um, I started the year off on my moon boot, as you can see on my feet right now. I broke my foot in 2020, November 2020. And yeah, this is January 2021 when I started off my YouTube channel, Walk and Talk with Queen P. And yes, one foot had a trainer and the other one had a moon boot. Great times, great times. But with perseverance, we succeed. So yeah, there you go. The weather was a bit hit and miss. One minute it was very cold, but it was quite bright, which was much better than what it is now because it gets four, it gets dark at four o'clock in this country, which is very depressing to be honest. But yeah, my moon boots, it was, it was shocking. I've never broken any part of my body before. And yeah, it was my foot that I broke. So I had this moon boot on for about just under three months. And for an avid walker, it was very hard to take in that I couldn't go out for my regular walks. Um, but there's other things that have stopped me from walking this year, but I will go on to tell you more about that later on in the video but yes how times have changed so this is january 2021 when i started good morning my video oh so in this video you can see that it's now snowing january was a snowy month um it was beautiful i love snow love it and i went to try gales for the first time in dulwich um, I had a cinnamon bun, which was absolutely amazing, and I had a latte, which I wasn't too keen on, to be honest. I prefer my Costa and my Starbucks, to be honest. Um, but yeah, this, this lovely, pretty house is in Dulwich Park. And yeah, January, as I said, was a snowy month. Um, I went to visit quite a few parks during 2021, Dulwich Park being one. This, is, this was actually in... Mm, Crystal Palace in Crystal Palace it was beautiful you know my birthday is actually it actually lands in December so I absolutely love December I absolutely love the snow and yeah it was it was beautiful walking through Crystal Palace and being covered completely by this beautiful snow this was actually in a dinosaur area where a lot of parents take their children to kind of occupy them by looking at the, the um, dinosaur models. Back in Dulwich again with a retro telephone box that never gets used now because we've got mobile phones. Oh, it's so... Oh, look at that picturesque. Picturesque. Gales coffee shop mm. coffee no cinnamon bun bun yes it was terribly cold and I was wearing those gloves which for any kind of um, drop in temperature especially in January as it was there I had to invest for my walks in um, cycling gloves oh there you go me displaying my afro pop socks they're coming back again in 2022 afro pop socks have got a new line so i'm going to be trying those out as well i will not be trying this coffee again but as you can see you can see the gloves there they are so good don't try and follow fashion and just get a you know slim line glove like a leather glove because they won't do anything in this cold weather i went and got the industrial cycling gloves and they were th they're thermal inside and I got them from Amazon and I think they're about $15.99 they are superb so yeah you can see I'm taking a little bit of a walk in Dulwich a village Dulwich village is amazing what I will say now is that there are um restrictions now when you drive through Dulwich village I don't know if you all know um all my followers who people who are watching and people who are new um in london they've got congestion charge which is 24 hours i think i think no it's not 24 hours it's, i think it's until 10 p.m actually but it's much longer than what it used to be and they've also introduced something called ulez which is kind of a hit south london as well 
so double 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 um payments if you've got a the unit applies to cars that are mainly diesel and also older cars as well so you have to pay i think a, a daily rate of 12 pound 50 if, if i'm wrong correct me in the comments but that's for the um, ULES and then also you have congestion charge which is £15 a day and that's if you hit more so central London you have to pay that a day which is crazy so if you're paying ULES and congestion charge that's an expensive day very very expensive mm, yeah, you can see me walking got my trainers my off road pop socks again just reminding you of what's on my feet yeah that day was extremely cold the coffee was definitely required um and i've showed you my gloves again because i love them so much okay here it was snowing a little bit i was near dulwich college which is quite a prestigious um boys school in dulwich yeah okay oh one of my videos from um, 2021 is obviously I've visited quite a lot of areas and one of them was where I actually grew up which was Croydon um, where you saw the tram go past or you could see a tram in the distance as well I used to um, this bus station never used to look like this when I was going to school I used to spend many a day at the bus station waiting for my bus to go to school oh yeah yeah it's, it's definitely much nicer now they seem to be knocking down quite a few buildings in in croydon it is required because westfields was meant to come to croydon um and they've stopped the plans now i believe so they've kind of a lot of shops vacated um ahead of um the proposed westfield so they've kind of left um croydon a bit derelict now which is really sad to see because there's so, there's so much potential in Croydon, and so much and um, look at all these abandoned shops well some of them are not abandoned they're just not taken care of and some of them are abandoned but I believe now all these shops have been knocked down so this must have been early 2021 when I walked through Croydon. Um, yeah these shops have definitely been knocked down I'm not too sure what they're building in their place but yeah, they're knocked down. It's quite interesting taking a look back at all my videos and where I've been and where I haven't. I feel that 2021 has whizzed by, but then it hasn't at the same time. When I look back at the videos and think, oh my gosh, that was such a long time ago. But 2000, this is this is this is an um, illustration. This is a reminder that you shouldn't take life for granted and make the most of every minute. Ah, oh, I can see where I'm walking down now. This is Old Town Croydon. So this is Surrey Street Market. This is New Surrey Street Market. Um, so I'm heading down. I don't know if I'll go all the way down. I'll oh, see new other trainers. I think I'm wearing my Vapor Max is there. Vapor Max are comfortable. To, they're very actually quite comfortable actually. I do tend to wear Pumas for walking, but the Vapor Maxes are not too bad. But you can see I'm limping a bit because obviously it wasn't that long um, having taken the moon boot off. But you know you have to persevere and. And to fight through the pain. Okay, so the Surrey Street Market. Usually there's a market down this road. Monday to Friday. Yeah. That obviously not there though. <laughs> yeah, as I said before, 2021 felt like it went quickly, but then obviously when I look back at these videos, it felt like it went slowly. But as I said before, you have to, you have to make the most of every minute every minute counts and time flies it does fly you know with the situation we found ourselves in we've kind of lost nearly two years um not going on holidays being restricted being indoors um being restricted and seeing our friends and and sometimes our family this year thank goodness we were able to see our family that's if you obviously didn't test positive for um, the situation we find ourselves in um, which was unfortunate for many people who couldn't spend Christmas with loved ones but um, just hope that better times are ahead of us just walking down 
this road which I spent many a time when I was younger. I think on the right hand side you'll see Hewitt's where my ski uniform was many a day purchased from. Okay here I am now away from Croydon, I believe I was near Embankment. Was I near Embankment? Yeah I think I was near Embankment here. Oh my gosh, here I'm actually Kingston. Kingston's beautiful. Kingston Pond Thames is absolutely beautiful. Definitely recommend this as a place of visit. It's quite nice because they use a lot of these old buildings as shops and you would never know. There's actually, you know, the likes of Body Shop or um, White Company or so in these lovely buildings. It's so nice to have like an old building and inside being very modern. I actually like that touch. It's quite nice actually. Uh -huh. These trailers are the trailers that my brother bought me for my birthday. Obviously, great support knowing that I walk a lot. So, I tend to just get trailers for um, my birthdays now, walking trailers. And I, you can see I've got my Afro Pop socks and my Puma leggings. Now, I'll say the Puma leggings are extremely comfortable. They fit so well. I've recently had some leggings. They're, no, they're not a branded one, actually. And they just, all they ever do is fall down. They fall down all the time. I'm always put, put, pulling them up. But the Puma leggings most definitely are leggings that I would definitely recommend. They fit so well, they stay up. And yeah, they do the, they do the, they do the job. They do the job. And these, and these trainers were really comfortable as well. Mmm, the London Eye. There you go. The Millennium Wheel is what many people would associate it with. Yeah, I was in the embankment. So absolutely beautiful. This must have been mm, probably the second quarter of 2021, maybe. But not only did I venture out and do walking, I did a lot of local walking. And as I said to you before, I did visit many. Oh, there you go, my Puma trailers and my Afro Fox sucks. I did visit quite a lot of parks, and sometimes I got up at the crack of dawn to see the sunset, as you can see here. I believe this particular park was. Beddington Park in Croydon. This park is absolutely beautiful as well. I mean, beautiful seems to be my favourite word on this video, but it is an absolutely lovely. The, the actual park is absolutely lovely. Look at the sunset. Oh my gosh. You have to take this in sometimes, taking these, these lovely scenes. It was really cold on that day. Really cold. And obviously, very much wrapped up. And I had my trusted cycling gloves with me to keep my hands warm while I was filming. Yeah, at this time of the morning there were a lot of dogs out. <laughs> oh my god, I don't particularly like dogs, but yes, I think I've grown to get used to them. Oh, here I'm on Primrose Hills. I did really did venture out. Primrose Hill, I went there with my good friend. Um, yeah, Primrose Hill, such a beautiful spot in London. Definitely recommend it. And look at the view, you can actually see there's a skyline, you can see um, the city and Canary Wharf. Canary Wharf is a place where there's many financial services. Oh my gosh, this one was quite funny. Uh, oh, I was in Greenwich here. I was in Greenwich, and this lady was actually questioning me as to what I was doing. I did eloquently explain what I was doing. Don't think she was too impressed. Okay, here you've got another pair of Puma trainers. Absolutely love them. So bright and colourful. And my Adidas socks. Plus my Puma thermal tracksuit bottoms, which was a must. So comfortable. Puma, Puma um, sportswear is very comfortable. And obviously I had my Nike bum bag for my keys and my phone when I was going on my long walks. There you go. I think I was saying to you, 2021, it went by so quickly, but it went by slowly as well. But what I will say as well with regards to 2021, it was a year of learning for me. It was a year of learning in the sense that I was living to work and working to live. There'll be times I'll be at my laptop for over 12 hours, just glued there, just taking a, a, a lady's break and, 
and coming back and, and just plowing through the work. And what I have now come to realize is that the work will always be there. It doesn't matter how much of a, how much you, you do, it will always be there. The expectation will always be there for you to do more. And the expectation, not even expectation, once you finish off it, it'll always be replaced with something else. So what you have to do is really take time out and look after yourself. You are number one. And that's what I'm taking into 2022, to be honest. I really am. I felt that mentally I was not doing myself any help. I love walking. I wasn't actually doing as much walking at the tail end, quarter, quarter four, actually quarter three and quarter four of 2021 I wasn't doing as much walking as I was in the, the previous two years um two years two quarters um I wasn't I really really wasn't I was just glued to my desk and not actually taking care of myself but I promised myself this year well not this year but from tomorrow which is 2000 and 22 i will not be adopting that same practice i come first there was a bit of point of time where i got concussion i um what else happened to me so much things happened to me i got ill and stuff but i just kept going to work <laughs> i kept going to work there was many people who did not go to work even with like a little sniffle but i kept going to work and that didn't do me any good and this Christmas break has really opened up my eyes. Oh my gosh, I love those socks. Those are my Nike socks, but they look nice actually. But once you wash them, they're very hard to get on. So mm, I wouldn't buy them again, but they look absolutely pretty as you can see with my Puma trainers. Going back to work, I would say, and my goals for 2022, it's really weird to say 2022 because Mm -hmm. 2020 was kind of non-existent because of what we were going through and 2021 was there with restrictions as well I haven't been on holiday for like since 2019 I think it's been a long time I'm so eager to go on holiday hopefully 2021 22 is the year for holidays because I need to see other, other scenery, not just parks. But I will say in London, there are so many hidden gems and it really did my mental state and my physical state a lot. It helped a lot. Um, when I really put myself first, I felt amazing. I was doing my work, I was going for my walks, I was doing weekly videos. You probably noticed that my video outage dropped considerably. And that's because all I was doing was living to work, which is definitely not a motto I'm taking into 2022. Ah, uh, okay. So, as I said before, I didn't just do walks in parks. I did walks in my local area. And look at the sky. I even did it in the evening as well. This was in the evening, but it's not how it is now because it gets really dark in, in London at four o'clock. This must have been a bit earlier on. But look at the sky, my goodness, look at the sky. Yep, as I said to you before, taking care of myself is something that I'm going to be doing more so this year. I'm going to be doing, aiming to do 20,000 steps a day, or maybe 15,000 at the minimum. Um, I hope you can all join in me with my walks, to be honest. Oh, look at this scenery, it's so beautiful, look at this. I just capture a lot of beautiful scenes whilst walking yeah 2022 will be a year of self investment self love I've always said that and I did really adopt that in the first two quarters of 2021 but I failed in two, the last two quarters of 2021 and I'll be kicking myself and having a word with myself and say 2022 can never be like this going forward we can never be like this it can't be the fact that i'm just a robot and sitting at my desk and plowing through 12 hours 13 hours of work a day can't be can't be gotta take care of myself and that's what i would definitely say to you all i know many of you probably adopted the same principle and and we're glued to your desk as well, especially when you're working from home, there's no separation. You really have to be disciplined and make that separation. You really do. 
really, really do. You can see now it's autumn. The leaves are on the floor. My wellies are on, my wellies are, my Wellington boots are on because there was a lot of rain. Aha, canary wolf. From my flat, you, uh, there's one particular roadway, there's a beautiful landscape and you can actually see the, the um, canary wolf and that's what I will show you just, just a minute ago. Yeah, so 2021, 22, I keep, <laughs> I keep saying 21, it's definitely gonna be a new year. Oh, there you go. Um, in my local area, there's a lot of hills and that's really good for the thighs, really good for the buttocks. And oh my gosh, I saw so much beautiful artwork. And this particular person has got some beautiful artworks dotted around South London. And I probably will capture that more so in my new videos in 2022. Now my new videos in 2022 is really gonna be taking you through my journey of weight loss. <laughs> because I've been sitting down for so long and glued to my desk and eating, I actually took to eating, I'm not a takeaway person, and I was eating takeaway like it was going out of business. I wasn't walking much and I felt that I've, I feel heavy. I feel heavy. I actually went for a massage the other day and um, my masseuse actually says I've got a lot of water retention because obviously I'm eating the wrong foods. So as, I, as you know, my channel is about wellness, mental and physical wellness. So I will be talking a lot about mental and physical wellness whilst I'm doing a lot of my walks. So I'll be talking about a lot of topical subjects as well such as things that we tend to witness in our day-to-day -day lives, such as, I don't know, topical subjects such as um, things on TV, books I've read, not read, but listened to, because I just do, um, I just do um, audios now. And audios are really good when you're walking, actually. They're really good. I have listened to quite a few books whilst walking. Um, as you can see here, I'm in, um, because I was in, where was I? Carnaby Street, Carnaby Street with a walking girl. Walking girl. But yeah, um, you'll see a lot of, a lot of my videos will be based on a particular topic now. The topic, I won't be going flipping and flopping between different subjects. I'll, we'll make it very clear as to the, to the actual topic I will be chatting about on my walks. Um, and they will be very much relatable to day-to-day -to -day lives and things such as, I don't know, I don't know if, if, you, if you ever um, had this when you were younger, but you had designated drivers, where you're going out clubbing and stuff, there would be only one person who's always driving all the time, or you would have the backseat driver chatting away, never taking up their car, <laughs> or you would have um, relationships, friendships, where you haven't drawn up those particular boundaries, and that's all aids in terms of aids you in terms of your mental health, because when you don't have boundaries, it can really take a turn on your mental health as well. Um, and you know, there's a motto that says, you know, or a quote that says that people take your kindness or weakness and you have to really put those boundaries up. People will treat you how you allow them to treat you. So through my years of living, I have learned. So there's another saying that if you don't hear, you feel, and I felt a lot. That's why I'm in more of a better place mentally um, and I've got a lot of boundaries now. A lot, I never had any boundaries before, but now I do. Now I do. Um, boundaries are definitely recommended. So I talk a lot about that in my um, newly vamped, revamped video of 2022. I will be um, doing a video once a week. I have to pick the day. I will update you all on the day that I'll be doing. Um, if you go to my home page on my YouTube channel, it will be displayed there as to what days, what day I will be publishing my videos. But yes, I will definitely come. I'm definitely going back to my one day a week videos. I'm really going for for it. It's one of my aims. I've got a scrapbook that I got from Amazon actually, and I'll be writing it with all my goals, my aims of 2022. I've got my high level goals that I want to achieve and tick off. Do you know what achieving and ticking off goals really is good for your self esteem as well? When you know you're achieving and achieving, oh sorry, this one, this particular park is in Charlton. 
we heard a light display a lot of the local parks had light display some of them are free such as this one and then you have crystal palace i think was charging 50 pounds per family to see this light display so it varies from from um area to area but yeah as i said to you before i've got a scrapbook I've, i'm writing in because to to write in my goals and it keeps you focused for the year so you're actually achieving I need to achieve I need to achieve and it's good for your mental state as well I aim in general I'm aiming to lose a stone I will be doing a juicing diet I think for the first couple of weeks in January I will be incorporating that with a lot of walking I'll be eating cleaner I won't be eating as much saturated fat as I've been eating over the past couple of months actually because of the amount of work I've had, I've just been eating convenient food, chocolates, crisps, Harry Bows, oh my gosh, um, burgers, oh my gosh, the eating has been bad. But I can see that my video is drawing to an end and I know I'll be able to speak for a good 27 minutes and I have. I'm a bit of a chatterbox, that's why my channel is called Walk and Talk with Green P because I will chat, chat, chat. But do, please do come in and support me and join me in my journey of weight loss in January and in terms of really going for the self-love, self-investment, wellness, I'll be giving you tips and tips and tricks to do, I'll be giving you insights into books I've read, um, films I've watched on Netflix, to the topics will be immense they'll be immense but what will be consistent will be my walking i will give you updates as to how many steps i've done what areas or how long it takes to do steps i'll be giving you some hints and tips as to walking what benefits it has um what trainers you can wear what sports attire you can wear it the actual subjects of my video will be immense it'll be very much focused on wellness physical and mental wellness but then also I'll be doing some reviews of, as I said before, films, video, um, Netflix, um, um, sports attire for walking, um, and just boundaries and very various things like that. But yes, yeah, the video is coming to an end because we're now at um, Winter Wonderland. For those of you who are new, welcome. And for those of you who are coming back, thank you for your continued support. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. Your support is much appreciated. Comment, like, and subscribe. See you in 2022. Here's to the new 